All right, welcome everybody. Uh, this is going to be a recap now for this Monday, uh, August 7th, 2023. The, today was probably the best day I've had all year. We're going to go over that in just a minute. I want to show you a few uh, uh, trades first before we get into the really big one that I hit. It started off with the uh, mini NASDAQ. But before we do that, I do want to mention that uh, if you would like to go ahead and uh, trade along with me as well as um, other good info, uh, which is I do provide out I do provide a watch list out every morning. I also do provide a watch list in the afternoon. You can join our Discord channel now. It's only fifty dollars a month. It's very reasonable. Okay, so um, you know I don't know a lot of these chat rooms. They just I think they charge way too much for what you get. So uh, I'm going to give you a great value at fifty dollars. You can uh, stay with me for a month. You can stay with me longer. What you're going to get is not only my morning watch list, my afternoon watch list, you have my overnight setups, but are also you'll be able to follow along during the day when I'm making these trades. I'm trading commodities, mainly um, the indices. I also do some natural gas, which I'm going to show you here. Gold, they do look at silver. We look at some other commodities as well. And then um, along with that, we also do stocks and we also do forks. So a little bit of opportunity for everybody. And then so when I'm in the live room, as you're seeing, if you've joined us in the morning for that first half an hour, which by the way is continues to be open to everybody before I move over into the Discord channel, uh, I do share my charts and I give you my exact trades that I'm when I'm entering, where I'm exiting, where my targets are and all that good stuff, okay? Uh, I use a, a specialized method called uh, the Einstein method. It's a combination of all the different tools that I've used over the years, but we use uh, what we call the Einstein formula that gives us very high probability targets. Okay, so if you'd like to learn more about that, you can find that uh, on my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com, or if you'd like to join us uh, for a month or longer, it's only $50 to continue on. It's only $50. And you can find that as well at InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Okay, so let's go over the mini NASDAQ. Mini NASDAQ, uh, beautiful trade here. Once again, this was an HF2 short. I had to hold on to this trade for about a, maybe about 40 minutes. And I take that back. It was almost two hours, or if not more than two hours. Uh, it was a sell on HF2 short. Uh, you also see that I also had um, a similar trade in the mini Russell, but I went ahead and I took my short HF2 short, did finally hit my profit target. If you recall, I do get multiple targets, but when I'm trading the indices, I'm always going for that level one, so I, that's why I marked it at LV1, so you understand that that was my first profit target level, and I went ahead and I got out of that. Now I also want to show you what happened later in the day uh, this was around a little bit after three I got another HF2 buy so the first one was a short and then I got an HF2 buy later in the afternoon and that also uh, hit my profit target before the end of the day and that was also a level one so made some really nice money on the um, on the mini NASDAQ and uh, we'll take a look at the rest here but let's go into our stocks because I do want to show you some really good trades you know I had four stocks that I carried over from Friday and we'll talk about those here in just a second all right so if you call on Friday if you watch the uh, the recap for Friday you know I carried over four stocks NKLA BOOR RETO and JDST those are all mentioned in my uh, my recap for my trades on Friday, well, this is NKLA. NKLA um, took a while to actually hit, but uh, my alarm went off that I did get my target. I came in and I exited, so made a nice little profit on NKLA. I'll show you the results of uh, BOR, RETO, and JDST, but this was my second largest trade of the day, but the big one... Uh, well, let me just show you here. BTGN. BTGN just exploded. Uh, and I'll show you exactly how I traded that one. All right. So I really, I want to go into a little bit more depth on this trade because this is the kind of scenarios that we're all looking for, right? Now, I did get into this trade a little bit late, but I still had some uh, really an unusual set up when I was looking at volume and I'm going to show you that here in just a minute but I did have some patterns setting up 
um, as well. After this market started taking off, I did have some longer uh, projected targets with Einstein. My first entry came in here at 9.13. Now, keep, keep in mind, this morning, this stock, let's see here. This stock started around $1.76, all right? Um, I, so, I mean, it was, I mean, it was, it was crazy, okay? I mean, from $1.76, you'll see how high it goes here, all right? I didn't, I didn't trade any of this, but I did catch over here. And so at 9.13, I went ahead and I entered my order at 9.13. Uh, at 9.13, my entry price was 23.16. I actually exited this trade okay at 915 get this at 24 dollars all right i re-entered again okay and this is where i just really hit it again i had another hf1 setting up and that came in at 918 i was only out for about three minutes all right another hf1 buy i did have a target up here all right, it blasted through my target. I finally ended up getting out at 38.83. All right, so we went from uh, 24.91 on this second position to 38.83. You just don't see that every day, guys, right? That wasn't where it topped out. It went all the way up to 59.52. Uh, this this was a parabolic move, but this reminds me of I think it was TOP several weeks back when it had a heck of a move like that. But what happens to them? They all eventually fall and come down. So when it penetrated that my target, I was watching it, watching, it, and then it started to fall, and I went ahead and I got out, and I still ended getting out a nice 38. 83 but let me show you what i was looking at with book map and this is really important because this is one of the reasons why i went ahead and i was okay to enter at this 2316 level remember this came in at 913 let me switch the charts okay so here we are this is um this is what we call it's called book map um you can get it if you have Thinkorswim. Uh, you can also buy it as a separate service. I think it's cheaper just to get it through um, to get it through Thinkorswim, and that's what I do here. But and also this is uh, more or less uh, it's similar to um, level two, but it's just it just gives you a visual representation of volume and the size and exactly where a lot of these orders are placed. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are. When I entered again, remember, and I re-entered again, and uh, it was around, just as we were coming up right over here, okay? So there's a really important thing I want to show you. Look at all this buying down here. We didn't really have a whole lot of selling up here, all right? And so when I first got into this back here at 913, I first got into this thing there was just no selling going on up here absolutely no selling going on whatsoever all right um and so then <clears throat> after this it gyrated a little bit in here there was really no reason for concern because there was really not a lot of selling going on so why not run it a little bit further all right and so that's why i held on to it further all right, now at this point, um, I didn't look at my really, really long-term projections because I didn't care. I mean, this thing was already moving. Uh, I may have had further out targets. I didn't even check that. But at this point, I personally didn't have any targets that I had already calculated. So it was in no man's land for me. So I was just riding the wave going up. And I was also watching to see when the sellers were going to come into the market. All right, and then finally, uh, when did they come in? They came in around. They came in around nine twenty. So, as you can see, as we started coming back down, you started seeing a lot of these red bubbles right here. So we were starting to accumulate 
a lot of selling going on up here, right? We saw the sellers coming in right around, right around here. See how you start to see those sellers over here on the right hand side, that the red mark. <clears throat> so you had a lot of selling coming in right over here. Uh, let's see, I can move this over just a little bit. So we had that selling coming in, and that's when I decided to get out. But it was flushing pretty good, and I ended up getting out at, uh, what, 38, 3883 is where I ended up getting out. So, so in a combination of looking at not only, uh, remember, I'm only using four patterns, and I'm using Einstein for my levels, but in order to catch these big runners, you really want to have something like level two or book map to give you an idea, okay, whether you're going to continue to let this run or not run. This is where you're going to make your money, folks. These kind of huge bursts, okay? So you're going to make a little bit. You're going to hopefully just lose a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you're going to catch these big moves. And this is where you make your money on, on trades like this, VTGN. So this was actually my best trade of the year. Um... Because I had just the right number of contracts on. I took profit pretty early, so I was already sitting on a fairly nice cushion. And then once I got back in again, uh, it exploded. But I, I, I couldn't help but get back in because I didn't see any sellers back here. There was no sellers. It's like it was open. I mean, there was this thing was just going to go up and up and up. So anyway, that was the VTGN. So let's see how we did overall for the whole day. All right, so here's how we did for the day. Uh, once again, the mini Russell shorted that trade. It was a short, then turned around, took a buy. Uh, the mini, Na I'm sorry, the mini Nasdaq was a short, then turned around, went to a buy. The mini Russell was only a buy. I didn't have a short, so that was strictly a buy. And then, uh, as you can see, VTGN just killed VTGN. NKLA, once again, was one of those carryovers. Um, also, BOOR. If you recall, that was a carryover from Friday. Uh, let's see here. And Retro was a carryover from Friday. And the only one I'm still in, which was a carryover from Friday and now carrying over into Tuesday, is going to be JDST. All right? JDST. So keep an eye on a JDST once again. That's a carryover. We'll see how we get out of that tomorrow. But once again, just a great day. Everything else, GOAN, scalp, pretty much quick scalp, uh, LABD, same thing, and uh, GRPN. Um, GRPN was showing them quite a bit on our Momo scanner. So um, we took a little bite out of GRPN. Uh, all hit targets. Uh, GRPTN, these all, all these were hitting their targets except for... Um, VTGN, which was, it just, it was way beyond targets. All right, so once again, any questions, um, you can find more information uh, at my uh, YouTube channel, Innovator Trading Strategies, or my website, InnovatorTradingStrategies.com. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button. And if you want to be notified on these nightly recaps, and I'm also putting out a weekly recap, and that's going to be done via an email. Uh, drop me a line on my uh, on my website, innovatortradingstrategies.com. You'll see a contact us, and just let me know you want to be on my email list, and we'll give you a, a weekly recap on uh, what we did for the week. And if you'd also like to join our Discord channel where you can watch me trade all of this live, then um, you can do it now. It's only $50 a month. You'll find that as well on my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Everybody have a good day, and we'll see you first thing Tuesday morning. Take care.